Hey YouTube, this is Trixie. Um, this is my first video, so it's gonna be kind of uh, scatterbrained. Um, I'm posting this video because I wanted to let other people know how I was able to get my Trichotillomania in check so far. Um, Trichotillomania is an obsessive compulsive disorder or something that's linked to anxiety and it's also linked to Tourette syndrome. Um, a lot of people have a tick like I do where they pluck out their eyebrows. Now um, I might be able to include photos of when I had no eyebrows. It has taken me about a month to fully grow them back since I, you know, found a way to do it. Um, I've been on medication. The medication was not enough. Um, I've tried, you know, the rubber band thing, silly putty. Uh, the silly putty actually made it worse. So I found a way to curb my picking. Um, now, this sort of thing is a really hard problem to, to resolve and I don't think I'll ever resolve it fully. What I have to do is I have to be very diligent and pretty much babysit myself. I have to be conscious as much as I possibly can because I have struggled with not knowing I'm doing it or doing it in my sleep. And when you try to tackle the trichotillomania problem, it's kind of like tackling a weight problem. You can't just put a band-aid on it and you know try to fix it cosmetically because it's gonna come back it's like waves I've been able to grow my eyebrows back before and then something will happen and it'll pick it all off now um, you really have to address the underlying issues like why you're picking if it's emotional if it's you know because of stress or anxiety you know try to figure out your triggers um, see a therapist, you know, talk it out. It's really important to have somebody to go to. Now, again, I'm on medication. Um, I've been trying to tackle the issues that are causing it. Now, I don't fully have control over the problems that are causing it. So what I did is I tried getting acrylic nails. This has helped me tremendously. When I got the acrylic nails, it became very difficult to use my hands at all for most things. Um, after I got used to it, I still wasn't able to pick them out. Now, I can't get over the fact that I need to touch my face. I need to touch it. I need to touch my hair. I need to feel the follicles. I need to touch my hair. In high school, I had to wear a hat. Um, because I needed to cover my eyebrows. I think the hat's the only reason why I haven't fully plucked off all my head hair because I have these little baby hairs right here um, where I started to pick off my scalp. Um, I got a, you know, staph infection in my face for touching my nose or plucking my nose hairs and then continuing to pluck my eyebrows. So, you know, this is a very um, important thing to deal with. Like You have to deal with it. You're putting yourself at risk for infections. Not to mention there's social problems that come with it. Anxiety. I couldn't look people in the eyes for years. And, you know, the way that I overcame it is I addressed my issues head on. When I couldn't look people in the eye, I worked my way up. I would look at their nose when I talked to them, and then finally I would look at their eyebrows when I talked to them, and then I finally got to the point where I could look at their eyes and talk to them. And it made it so much easier to connect with them. I didn't feel exposed. I felt empowered because I took control of my fear. And uh, with my picking, I know that I have to touch my face. So instead of like trying to pull them and feel the pain, I'll grab them and pinch them or I'll just touch them and, and brush them to the side because I have pretty unruly eyebrows. Um, I'm doing my best to not touch my hair because, you know, I touch my hair all day. So that's, you know, so for people who touch their scalp hair, 
maybe covering it up with like a scarf before you go to bed. You know, getting, I had to wear a kitty hat that covered my whole head. But I mean, I really don't know what to do about that. I mean, I'm, I'm blessed in that sense. But I want to let you guys know you're not alone. Um, maybe try the acrylic nails. You know, working on yourself really helped me. Um, I've gotten more into the makeup. Like right now my makeup's not usually how I have it, but I wanted to get prettied up before I did this video. Um, I look at it as a distraction. And the more that I, you know, do skincare and take care of my face and I try to ride my bike more, it kind of takes away and, and lets that energy that builds up inside get dispersed. Try to disperse the energy. Babysit yourself. Be diligent. Be very hyper aware of what you're doing and address the triggers that build up anxiety inside you. It has tremendously helped me out and you know if you guys have any questions or if you want to just talk about it, feel free to you know comment to this video. If you like um, this video, let me know. Go ahead and comment and subscribe and I'll try to put out more videos related to trichotillomania and other girl problems. Alright, thanks YouTube. Bye!